What's up, everybody? It's your boy Wings of Redemption. I'm just a little bit of a little bit of both. There's a little campy, a little rushy gameplay, um, and it's with the MSMC. I actually got on Space Orange with the attempt to do a rush gameplay, but it turned out to be I started to do well. And once I started to do well, I find that I get into my comfort zone, which is assault rifles, and you know the the whole story goes out to the end there. <laughs> oh man, I want to talk about my walking blog, which I put out today, and. Um, you know some of the mess ups and you know some of the concerns that people had with the blog itself uh first off it was a trial video that's exactly what it was my walking blog i did it basically just to see how the gopro worked i've never really tried the gopro out and i never really did anything with it other than i actually put on youtube and um so i, I put it on i took my walk I figured it'd be a good way to show the walk because I was going to actually do something else with it, but Kelly actually wanted to attempt to edit it because he said he had an idea. So we kind of ran with it, and then he messed something up and he went back and changed it. But I went to bed at that time, so I didn't kind of oversee it. And uh, yeah, it kind of got messed up on the editing department. And uh, it was supposed to be four minutes long, and it was somehow it ended up eight minutes long because I know, like you know, watching somebody walk for eight minutes to music is fucking boring. It sucks. And, you know, I apologize for that to all in. That was not my best video of the day. And, you know, whatever. Try again tomorrow. Pick it up. And, you know, all you can do is try harder. And, you know, your suggestions are... Gi giving suggestions helps me out tremendously in that aspect. And it cuts back on, you know, <clears throat> the grind wheel. That is figuring out what works, what doesn't work. And, like, I, I would like to do the walks. I would like to do more exercise. And, you know, I had, like, an idea of the Rocky montage kind of thing. But that's that's the first idea that pops into my mind. But I need something I can do on a more consistent basis other than just standing in front of the camera and talking. Because just standing in front of the camera and talking, it will get dull quickly. At least back in the day with gameplay commentary, you would have this medium where you could just, uh... You'd have the gameplay, the gameplay would be different every time, and then it was just talking. You just weren't standing in front of the camera with a different background don't want to do that and that's that's my main issue I've had with having a like a vlog style channel I mean does the quick cuts actually work I mean like Philip DeFranco actually shows like pictures of stuff tell me what it, tell me what it, what you like seeing when you see a blog because I see some channels out there like makeup tutorial channels and um, just straight up vlog channels like let's take Boogie for example Boogie does really well with um, doing just regular sitting in front of his computer blogs and like those are attractive because they're very low effort at the same time I realize that it's boogies in real life stuff is what actually gets the, that subscriber count and that's something me personally I need to work on I need to work on attracting new viewers and that's one of the downfalls of my channel I mean I pretty much the viewer count attracting new viewers is where I struggle at <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say you know, that's, that's a formulation of a, a, a few different things. But that's what I'm working on on my channel. What I'm working on myself is I really want to uh, be able to be more active. And one of the one of the things I, or one of the processes that I took to to kind of push forward with that more active lifestyle is the Gorilla Links. Those video links you see me uh, promoting other people. Those allow me to make, kind of get past ad block and get past... Um, you know, people watching on the consoles and stuff and actually get paid for their view. At the same time, it, it, it allows me to not have to do as many videos per day as I normally would because at that point, the uh, views don't really as matter as much as the viewer content, like, um, you know, getting a certain number of views on a video opposed to doing multiple videos trying to make up for lost views with ad block and mobile phones, which, you know, everybody talks about ad block and what it is and ad block's bad and like ad block is is bad on the ideas of somebody that's a content creator because it it affects your livelihood especially if you do something like i do and this is my actual job i mean this is what i've been doing for the last five and a half years is pretty much living off the money that i make off youtube and you can do it it, it, it is a possibility it, it, it's not a viable career choice would i do this if, if <laughs> would i do this again picking it out of school hell no there's a number of things I would much rather do if I was in if I was 19 again. Um, but it, it just happened to be where the st where the stones fell. Like um, me personally, I thought about going back to school to maybe go for being a registered nurse. 
But see, that's a bad idea for me because in South Carolina there's 15,000 registered nurses here because every girl tries to be a registered nurse and like there's just not a demand for it. Even though that's what I want to be, is I don't want... I, I, it kind of conflicts with what... where the area I live in, which is the beach, which, you know, there's all kinds of old people live here and nursing homes and things like that. And I just don't really want to do that. I much rather just do like the... Uh, the doctor's thing but you know that's that's here or there that might not ever happen that's just what I'm thinking about where I want my life at this point in my life if that makes sense but right now number two things that I'm concentrating on becoming financially stable again which which you know selling my truck which I, I guess I've never even said that on my channel I am selling my f-150 it actually as it sits right now should be sold Tuesday should I mean the guy can pull out and get cold feet and there's nothing I can stop if that happens. But as it's as it's set up right now, I should sell it on Tuesday. And with that being said, I uh, w it would help me out tremendously. It would stop the bleeding. Once the bleeding stopped, I can work on rebuilding. So I'm working on rebuilding the finances. I'm gonna work on losing the weight. Um, and I'm seriously working on losing the weight this time. And it's not one of those oh, why did you do this every three months? You know, no, 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 no. I have a scale now. I have accountability, I have a way to keep up with my weight myself, and I have a I have a, have a weekly checkup that I'm going to be doing that lets me know when I'm fucking up. So when that number reads higher and lower, I have people that are on my back, and I have a responsibility. And I'm not going to try to get back in that zone where I was depressed. Thank you guys for sticking with me and supporting me all these years. I apologize for the video yet again. And um, I'm going to be playing a little bit more Call of Duty. Um, I'm not going to try to oversaturate yourself with Call of Duty videos. I'm going to try to do it, do it to an extent. I mean, every now and then I'll have one, something I want to talk about on a Call of Duty video. And, uh, yeah, Painkiller already comes up tonight. Hope you guys watch it. Thank you for watching my video. If you could leave a like rating, it helps me out tremendously. It's been your boy, Wings of Redemption, and I'm out of 5,000. Peace, pimps. I've got you.